friends, I am Naman and welcome to my channel. Are you guys waiting for the new movie, PS2? You might have heard about the first part as well. I have seen my family and friends struggling to understand the characters itself in the film. So I decided to make this video for you all so that you can have a better experience watching and understanding the second part. So shall we start the video? The Chola Empire let us understand about a few characters from the film. A point with you all. This will sh only showcase the character's real life history and achievements. Do not get confused with the nature of the characters in the film and the people shown in this video. So, let us answer to our first question. Who are the Cholas? The Chola Empire was one of the biggest empires in India. You can see here. It extended from Kalinga in the north and had alleys till Sri Lanka and extended its alleys throughout the Asian continent. The empire lasted for nearly 1600 years from 300 BCE to 1279 CE. The Chola's royal flag looked like this. You might have witnessed this in the film as well. About the Chola Empire. Chola's capital was Tanjaur or also known as Tanjau. The official language of the empire was Tamil. The first Chola emperor was Vijayala Chola. The last Chola emperor was Rajendra Chola III. The Cholas captured most of South India during the reign of Rajaraja Chola I. So the few characters are Rajaraja Chola I, Uttama Chola, Aditya Chola II, also known as Karigala Chola. Rajaraja Chola I was born as Arul Mori Varman in 947 CE in the Chola dynasty and he succeeded Uttama Chola. Rajaraja Chola ruled the Chola dynasty from 985 CE to 1014 CE. He is also known as Ponian Selvan, the son of Kaveri, but translated from Tamil. As it was said that Mother Kaveri herself had saved Rajaraja Chola from drowning into the river when he was five years old. During his reign, he conquered most of South India and hence he is also called as Rajaraja the Great. Uttama Chola Uttama Chola was born as Madhurantaka, son of Gandharaditya and succeeded the throne from 980 CE to 985 CE, after whom Rajaraja I succeeded. He was not given the opportunity to become the crown prince after Parantaka II, though he had rights to do so. Aditya became the crown prince, and after his assassination, Rajaraja Chola was given the opportunity to become one, but Rajaraja Chola refused it and gave it to Uttama Chola. Later, after his reign, Raja Raja took back his uh, crown and started to rule again. Aditya Chola II Aditya Chola II was born as Aditya Karigalan in 942 CE in the Chola dynasty and he succeeded Parantaka II. Aditya Chola reigns as co-regent of the Chola Empire from 966 CE to 971 CE. He was the one who defeated the Pandian Empire and killed the king of Pandian dynasty, Vira Pandian. He was killed by a few associates of the Pandian king, Vira Pandian, as a revenge for killing their king. Sadly, he died at a very young age of 29. There are many reasons for the end of the empire. Rajendra Chola III, the last ruler of the Chola dynasty, fought a war with 
Kulasekara Pandian of the Pandian dynasty and lost. This led to the decline of the Chola Empire to a large extent and extinction of the great dynasty. They are still and will be remembered even till the next generations. Here I would like to recommend watching the Pony and Selvan movie series as they have beautifully depicted the life and nature of the Chola Empire. Since this is based on a novel, this does have some extra fictional details but it does show the story of the Chola Empire during the reigns of these important rulers. Thank you for watching friends. Meet you in my next video. Before you go, don't forget to hit on the like button and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get new updates from our YouTube channel. Do you see my next video? Bye bye.